Good evening, friends, and welcome back to Home Cooking with Hannah. Today, we are unlocking a new recipe. Well, it's new to the vlog, not new to me. It's another one from the famous cookbook that my mom got me for Christmas. Gave me for Christmas, made me for Christmas a couple years ago. And it has a bunch of recipes of things that I ate at home growing up. So I decided to pick one on this lovely Monday and make it for you guys. Make it together. Hope you're excited because we're unlocking a new recipe today. Today, we are making tater tot taco casserole. I haven't had this in so freaking long. I'm so excited. I hope that I do it justice. Shout out to my mom, as always, for writing this down for me. You guys know the drill. If you haven't seen Home Cooking with Hannah before, maybe you don't know the drill. I'm gonna put my headphones on and we're gonna make this. It bakes at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm gonna have to probably do it on the higher end because I don't have an oven. I use my convection oven, which is like the Ninja 10 in one, whatever, it's, it's an oven, but I have to adjust the temperature and the time to make sure it like cooks fully. Everything's gonna be fully cooked. It's really just about making sure that the tater tots on top are like warmed, you know? There's always people in the hallway. And I'm probably gonna shower in that time so that when I'm done, I will have been cleaned, skincare, and then I'm ready to sit down and eat and watch Outer Banks season three. So very excited for this segment today. I hope you are as well. I get a lot of really good feedback on the cooking segments I do in the vlogs. So I'm very happy you guys enjoy them because I enjoy them too. And it makes cooking more fun and it makes me actually like want to do it because it's not like my favorite thing to do. I'm trying to work on it, but it's like a difficult progress. Anyway, so let's get started with the ingredients. Good morning! It's Tuesday. Just got back from my workout class. Well, not just. It's been a little bit. There was a really loud truck outside, so I was waiting for it to move to say hello. Just got back from my workout class. I'm still in my workout outfit because I'm lazy, which is gross. I need to shower immediately. But I want to show you my outfit. This is not sponsored, but I think this outfit's so cute, and this is the first time I wore it today. It's one of my new sets. I got two new sets when I hit 20 classes. And they're both from Set Active, not sponsored again. I bought them with my own money. I love the first one and I've been wearing it. And then I tried this one out today. So let me show you. Guys, it's so cute. I felt like a baddie in class today, which look good, feel good, do good, whatever. Is this not sick? I love this. It's so cute. It's just like this really 
deep navy, which I love. Shorts, and then this like high neck. This top is a bra, long sleeve, it's sick. I love it. I felt so good in this today and I wanted to show it to you because I think it's like really freaking cute. Back to the sweatpants because it's a bit chilly. Anyway, my class was good. I drank my protein shake when I got back and now I need a shower. It is disgusting outside today. Gray as usual, but it snowed last night and then now it's raining, but it's like kind of sleet slash freezing rain. So it was like pelting me as I was walking, which wasn't fun. And the slush, oh girl, it's just, the conditions are not optimal for walking today. What's it down with? Do I say hi to the people? Come here, come here, Charlie. Today is one of those days where I'm just gonna light a candle and make a coffee. Hey, baby. Oh, she ran under the bed. What a little shit. She's camera shy right now. Light a candle, make a coffee, and just get the vibes going in here so I can get things done. That's my morning update. I love this freaking outfit so much. Like, I just wanna keep wearing it, but it's gross and I need to take it off and shower. Look good, feel good, do good. I can explain. It is the next day. I just felt so anxious yesterday, all day. I actually also felt really anxious on Monday, which is now I'm realizing probably why I didn't speak for most of the day. But yesterday I just felt so anxious. I could not bring myself to like sit in front of a camera. So I barely vlogged anything. I am sorry. I'm feeling a bit better today. I feel like there's probably like a bunch of factors that are why I felt that way. Number one, I was getting my period. Number two, I am going back on my anxiety medication that I went off of for like a month. But now I'm like weaning back on. So when you're weaning back on, it can have of like side effects where it makes you more anxious. So it's probably a, a bit of that. And also just general anxiety that I've been feeling about life. So all those things together, I just felt so anxious. Anyway, last night at like midnight, I went through my closet because I really, really wanted to get rid of more things. So I did, I got rid of a bunch of stuff actually. I have a full bag down there that I've been accumulating that I want to take to like Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads or something and see if they will like buy any of it. And then I have a little pile started for selling that I want to sell on Depop. And then I have a bag of just donation stuff. I think this weekend maybe, I was gonna do it today, but then I realized I actually don't have time to do that today with everything else I need to do this week. I think I'm gonna go this weekend and see if I can get any of these clothes to sell at Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads and then whatever they don't take, I'm just gonna donate with the other stuff I have for donation to the mission. Having a bit of a identity crisis with my wardrobe. This doesn't really seem like that many hangers because it's really not, but I got some extra hangers, which I never have extra hangers. I always have to buy more hangers. I have usually have no space for anything because I have so much shit, but I bought some new stuff. I don't own any tops for like going out and I didn't think I ever needed to, but I'm 23 years old and now I'm like going out with my friends and I have nothing to wear. So I've been trying to accumulate some things for that. My rule that I put in place for the beginning of 2023 is in one out one. So if I get one new piece of clothing in, I take one out. Same with all the others, like t-shirts, jeans, whatever. So I did get a new pair of jeans and then I took one pair out. I have just been really wanting to switch up my wardrobe and filter some things out and get some new things in because I just have not been feeling inspired by or confident in the stuff that I have. And obviously like I have a lot of staple pieces, which is good and I'm keeping those, but 
I just feel like I'm bored with my wardrobe and I'm not excited to style things. I don't know, I need to get stuff that actually fits me well and not stuff that is just sizes that I used to be and I'm trying to stay in when that's not the case. I need to get stuff that actually fits me. So I've been working on that. But my point is I went through a bunch of stuff in the middle of the freaking night last night because I just decided to. And I actually feel better. I still need to go through more, get rid of more, try and unload some stuff. And I feel like I'll feel lighter once that's done because I feel like you always feel lighter when you get rid of things. And then also I wanna go through my drawer down here, which is some PR stuff and just extras of things that I have. And I'm gonna go through and take out anything that I don't need. I'm gonna put a box together and send it off to an organization that I actually did this with a couple years ago when I was doing a big clean out. It's called Project Beauty Share and you can send them makeup, skincare stuff. Like obviously I'm gonna send them everything that's brand new, like still in packaging. They can give it to people who could really need it and use it. I wanna do that maybe today because I feel like I'll feel good again to just get rid of some things. And also, you know, I know they're going to a good cause and people that will really appreciate them. So it's a win-win. Anyway, so that's that. I actually have a networking event tonight that I will tell you more about later, but I need to pick out an outfit for that because again, as I just said, I'm working with what I've got in my wardrobe, but not feeling too jazzed about it. So we're gonna work on that later. <laughs> Oh my god, that slays. I love it. Fuck. This is a sleigh. Oh my god, I look like a ghost. An absolute ghost. Okay, not good. I'm trying to put makeup on right now for the networking event I'm going to, but it literally just keeps shriveling up. You can't see it, but it is under my eyes. I don't know what's happening. I did my hair in this like slicked back half up half down because I haven't washed my hair in a hot minute. So I needed to put it up, but now I look like, I don't even know. I'm not used to seeing my hair pulled back like this. It's kind of throwing me off, especially considering how ghostly I look. We got some work to do in the next 20 minutes. Anywho, I'm getting ready for the networking event that I told you guys about earlier. Well, I didn't really tell you. I just mentioned that it was like, that it existed. I was invited to like a panel and mixer type of thing with 
an agency or at and hosted by an agency that I have worked with. I worked with them on my Best Buy campaigns. So I know a couple of them and they invited me to come to this. I'm assuming there's gonna be, I don't know who else is going, but this agency happens to have a department, I guess, that focuses on influencer marketing strategy that I would be interested in working for, working at. I kind of consider most of the events I get invited to as networking, unless it's like a straight up party vibe and that's kind of made known. Like for example, I have one next week that's literally at a club, so that would not be a networking event, obviously. But something like this, I definitely consider more networking than anything. I always get nervous before going to things like this. So I wanted to make sure I was prepared. That is where the sponsor of this portion of today's video comes in, which is Indeed, once again. I spoke about Indeed and their demo video series that they have on their YouTube channel a couple videos ago. We're talking about them again because I have another video that I actually just watched to kind of prep myself and it's called Tell Your Story. Hey, my name is Avery. It's nice to meet you. Every single one of us has been asked to introduce ourselves during an interview. It sounds like a question you might ask a new friend, but your potential employer is not looking for your life story. Since this is typically one of the first questions asked in an interview, your response is your first impression. So during your interview prep, it's worth thinking about what you want to say and how you want to say it. That's a question that I always struggle to answer for some reason. I just like never really know where to start, how long it should be, what to include, what to leave out. It's kind of like your own personal elevator pitch, which if you've heard of an elevator pitch, it's basically like if you were in an elevator with somebody that you really wanted to like get to know professionally and you had 60 seconds, how would you pitch yourself to them? So it's kind of the same vibe as that. So I actually just watched that video again and it was so helpful to just have a reminder of what you should say when someone asks you like to tell you them about yourself how you should order what you say like what sequence there's really a lot that goes into it and it's something that should be thought out so that you can have the best possible answer because making a good first impression is important whether you're in a networking situation or a job interview you could be asked this question in a lot of different settings so it is important to think about what you would say and to have it practiced and have your own personal elevator pitch ready to go. Shout out to Indeed for this demo video series and shout out to Indeed again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys wanna check out the video on telling your story, it'll be linked down in the description. I highly recommend that you check it out. Just give it a listen, it's like nine minutes long and you might learn something that could help you in your own journey. It's free, all their videos are free and they have tips that you may not know. Thank you indeed for that, you are a lifesaver. Okay, here's the finished makeup. It actually came together really nicely and I like the hair now because I have the makeup on. So, feeling good. Okay, very fast fit check because I need to go. This top is just a little mock neck, white, it's thrifted. This blazer I got at an event with iBuy Direct at Arcade Vintage, but it is vintage YSL, but I got it for $28, so period. These jeans don't actually fit because I feel like my intestines are being squeezed out of me, but they are the only ones that made sense with the outfit. And they're from Abercrombie. And I just have my little loafers, I think it's at TJ Maxx, but they are guess, just a black bag to go with. That's what I'm wearing. Oh my gosh, you guys, my ovaries really hurt. The hair's still throwing me off. I guess I'm just not used to it. Charlie's like, what the hell are you doing? Hard to show the whole thing, but Morning, homegirls. I'm turning over a new leaf today. Actually, I've already turned over the new leaf, but we're having a good day. I've had a great start to my day. Went to my workout class. I stopped at the pharmacy and picked up medications and I treated myself to Starbucks where I'm feeling good today. I don't know. 
Guys, I had an epiphany last night. I actually decided I'm gonna talk about that on the pod. So I'm gonna record an episode today. After I do some other things, I'm gonna sit down and record the pod. That's not actually the episode that I'm gonna put up this coming week because this is the 10th episode I'm about to have. And I wanna do like an advice thing every 10 episodes at 10, 20, 30, whatever, they're all like, each one of those is an advice episode, but I just got inspired to record about my epiphany that I had last night. So I'm gonna do that today because I'm just gonna run with it. I wanted to do a quick haul because I just got back, as I said, from doing some things. So let's discuss. I went to the pharmacy. I had four prescriptions to pick up. I am prescribed a lot of things. Acne, anxiety. <laughs> That's really it, actually. Three of these things are for the acne and one is for anxiety, I think, yeah. Oh, and then I got some ibuprofen. And this was like $11. What the fuck? Let's get into all of these, okay? I'll go in order of how expensive they were. I am so floored, you guys. This one's the cheapest one. So we have anxiety meds, so $17.46. Next, oh, the rest of these three are all acne. $20 is, what is it, guys? Yay, tretinoin. Next up, we have spironolactone. The kicker of this all is this mother right here. We have clindamycin. This bitch, this was $80. I've been using this stuff for almost two years and I don't think it's ever been $80. I don't know what's up with that. But when the very nice woman at the cash register said I owed $170 for my five things, I was like, excuse me? Respectfully, what? And then I found out this was the culprit. I don't think the, uh, what the, f anyway. So that's my CVS haul. It's brutal. It really is out here, I don't know. I decided to get a sandwich because I am so hungry right now that I don't even feel like making food. So I got myself a double smoked bacon sandwich. These are my favorite from Starbucks. It doesn't look too appetizing right now, but they're freaking amazing and I love them. They're on a croissant bun thing. Oh, they slay. And then I decided to try a new drink from Starbucks today. So I got a grande iced pistachio latte and I got almond milk. I usually get oat milk, but I don't know, I just decided to get it with almond milk today. I've never had this before. I feel like it might be better with oat milk. Maybe I fucked up. I wanna do a little taste test of this. I love pistachio flavored things. They don't actually taste like actual pistachio nuts ever, but I like pistachio nuts and pistachio flavored things. So I'm gonna try this out and we're gonna see what's up. I feel like it would be better with oat milk because it would make it creamier. I like it. It's not, it's like a good mix. It's not overly sweet, but it's also not overly bitter. It's like a good middle. It's nice. It's like smooth. I feel like it's the best word to describe it. I'm probably still going to get my typical, when I go to Starbucks, my ice brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso with cinnamon dolce syrup. But this is actually pretty good. And I'm glad I tried it. I've been thinking about it for a while, so I figured why not. Anyway, all right, I'm going to eat my sandwich and then set up my podcast area, and then we're gonna record. Happy Thursday. That looks so foul. Testing, testing, testing. Sounds good? Let's record. Also, the reason I'm sitting in the corner over here is because this is the place that I've found in my room that has the least, like the microphone picks up the least amount of background noise. So I've been recording here the past few episodes and I feel like there's just so much less like background annoying noise. My back literally always hurts. Like definitely could use a more ergonomic sitting situation because this is not definitely not it i'm gonna record with these off i never do that but it kind of feels weird but along hello everyone welcome back to another episode of digital diary i'm your host hannah elise i hope everyone's doing well today i for one am doing well and i'm gonna tell you why it's actually the entire point of this episode but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still have to set the scene. I went to my workout class this morning. I ran a couple of errands. I had to pick some stuff up at the pharmacy. Um, what the f are they doing? Is this serious? 
No, there's actually no way they just started drilling into the ground right now outside. There's no way. It's always something. I cannot make this shit up. Right when I sit down to record, they start doing road work outside. No, literally, they're doing road. I cannot believe this right now. I had so much momentum to sit down and record right now. And they're jackhammering the road right now, right this second. This cannot be real. Let me tell y'all. Ooh, I've looked better. Let me tell y'all. Casserole is the gift that keeps on giving. I have not cooked dinner since Monday and I've never felt better in my life. I love it. Charlie? Say hi to the vlog. I'm not looking my best tonight, honey. I let it, I washed it and let it go curly. No, we didn't set this up 10 minutes ago. It's awesome. about to film a little chit chat get ready with me life update all that i don't know if i want to use my light light outside right now but i don't know it always do natural i'm about to sit here and film my video hopefully i can do it all before my radiator starts whistling again because it just was doing that and i waited for it to stop so that i could start filming I'm currently hitting my regularly scheduled mid-afternoon slump, which routinely happens every day between the hours of 2 and 3 p.m. However, I have a meeting with my managers in four minutes, so here we are. I finished filming my video, I ate some food, I made the Instagram stories for my little brand deal with Loving Tan. Just waiting on a couple more things on their end so I can add them and then submit those. I went through the responses on the podcast Instagram. I asked the other day for things that anyone would want advice about for the episode that I ideally want to record today, probably later today. And I picked out and screenshotted some of the responses for me to give advice on and talk about in the episode. And now I, this lighting is kind of weird, but I kind of like it for some reason. I love this wide angle because it lets me have my camera at my desk and like sit at my desk and film. Anyway, and now I have my meeting. We do this every year where we get together at the beginning of a new year and just do some like planning and talk about the year. I know it is March, so it's already like three months into the year, 
but one of my managers got married earlier this year, so she has been otherwise occupied. I'm gonna talk about plans, brand deals, brands I wanna work with. We have an hour slated for it. I don't know if it's gonna be a full hour. It probably will be just after all the catching up and everything too, cause I haven't spoken to both of them on a meeting in a while. I'm really trying to keep momentum going and actually attack everything I need to do. I'm gonna log on to the meeting now. Hi. How are you, queen? <laughs> this happens every day between the hours of two and three. We're on the same. 